Okay, let's go ahead and start on lesson seven practice problems. For number one, we have decide whether each table could represent a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what would be the constant of proportionality? So for A, how loud a sound is depending on how far away you are. Well, I can already, I already know this from experience that this is not proportional because it's, uh, it's logarithmic the way that works, but that's, that's, that's what you'll learn that in high school. But the, um, but all we have to do is, if we want to figure this out, all we have to do is just take, um, we just have to take our y and divide it by the x. You know, if we do 85 and divide by 5, that equals 17, okay? Now, if that 17 happens every time, I divide the y by the x, um, then we're on to something. 79 divided by 10 uh, is 7.9. So I'm not even going to go any further here. Um, I mean, I could divide the rest there, but it really doesn't matter. Um, we can tell right now that these values are not the same. You know, uh, constant proportionality has the word constant in it, meaning that you want to have the same value every time. And if we are getting different values, then uh, this is not indeed proportional. All right? So I'm going to write, I'm going to write an explanation here. Moving on to B, the cost of, a, of fountain drinks at Hot Dog Hut. We've got the following volume and cost. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, I'm just going to divide, um, I'm going to use here, I'm going to do V for volume, I'm going to do C for cost. And so when I do this, I want to do C divided by V. It's just like, same thing, uh, Y divided by X. So we're going to want to do uh, $1.49 divided by 16. All right, so when you do $1.49 divided by 16, you get like a billion dollars or something. No, you don't. Um, you get, let's see here, divided by 16, I get this, I get 0 0.093125, okay? And I'm gonna do that for the rest of them, I'm gonna do Dollar fifty nine divided by twenty, and that comes out to zero point zero seven nine five. And I'm going to stop there again, just like on the last one. Uh, these are not obviously the same value, so we can just stop there. And this is not proportional for the same reasons. Okay, for number two, a taxi service charges $1 for the first one-tenth of a mile, then 10 cents for each additional one-tenth mile after that. Fill in the table with the missing information, then determine if this relationship between distance and price of the trip is a proportional relationship. So on this one, uh, now I think the hard part here is we dealt with some fractions here, but um, so the first tenth of a mile is is going to be a dollar. So if I just, you know, if I just take away one tenth from that, all right, we're left with eight tenths, you know, eight tenths. Actually, it might be, it might be easier if I just write it like this, 0 0.8, just because we're dealing with money. Uh, but yeah, you got that. So now this right here, that's going to be, that's a dollar right there. And then you're going to add um, 80 cents to that, which comes out to a dollar 80. Okay. 
All right. So, and how did I do that? That's right there. Um, eight tenths, uh, you know, every tenth, you know, according to this problem, every tenth, one tenth equals ten cents. So we have eight tenths there. So in, in, in essence, we have eight dimes. Eight dimes is worth 80 cents. All right, sorry if I'm kind of doing this in a messy way. I'm gonna take away one tenth here, and I'm gonna write this as 1.9, okay? 1.9. And so um, every time I'm gonna, uh, that first mile, or that first tenth of a mile is one dollar. And the next tenths, so the remaining tenths, are 10 cents. Now that translates to um, $1.90, right? That's 19 dimes. That's 19 dimes. So that's going to be plus 1.90, which comes out to $2.90. And I'm going to keep doing this. All right, so take away one tenth and you're left with three all right and so now we have one dollar plus and then three um three miles is going to translate into uh 30 tenths you know 30 tenths because 30 divided by 10 is three you know and so that's going to be three dollars so one dollar plus three dollars is two million dollars no it's not it's four dollars it's four dollars okay and then let's keep going here so i'm going to take away one tenth and we're going to get 9.9 .9. all right so i keep doing this with the first dollar plus now 9.9 .9, that's 99 tenths so that's going to be nine dollars and um oops racing things nine dollars and ninety cents okay put that all together roll it up into one thing and you get ten dollars and ninety cents okay now um, don't mistake with what I was just doing there those are not constants of proportionality I was just figuring out I was merely just figuring out the um, the price in dollars okay so now if I want to figure these out, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to do price uh, divided by, I'm going to erase some of this markings here, but I'm going to do price divided by uh, distance. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do, uh, yeah, P, and I'll call this D. All right, so that's what we're going to do. And so I'm going to do for, the first one, uh, I'm going to do my math over here. So I'm going to do $1.80, all right, divided by 9 tenths. And I'm just going to just write it like that. $1.80 divided by 9 tenths, which comes out to 2, okay? Now number 2, let's do this one. I'm going to do 2.90 and divide that by 2. So if you do this, um, you already know where this is heading. You get a dollar forty-five, and we have yet to run into a proportional relationship. Two, and we have one forty-five there. And I'm not going to go any further because those are we're getting different constants of proportionality. Well, it's not a constant of proportionality. It's um, we're not getting the same number, so. This is not proportional. You're going to notice that, like, whenever there's some type of uh, initial fee, you know, if there's ever uh, some kind of initial cost, you know, perhaps um, like a, a gym membership, it costs like. $500 to join, but then you're paying per month. Or um, if you want to join a club or something, it costs $10, and then every month after that it's a dollar or something. But whenever there's like this initial fee, like a one-time fee, it's always going to mess it up a little bit and not make it proportional. And so that's a kind of good giveaway there. But I mean, you should still check the math and, and 
you know, take the y and divide it by the x and see what you get. All right, let's 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 see here. Uh, we've got, uh, for this one, Okay, for number three, we have a rabbit and a turtle are in a race. In the relationship between distance traveled and time proportional for either is, let me start that over. A rabbit and turtle are in a race. Is the relationship between distance traveled and time proportional for either one? If so, write an equation that represents the relationship. Okay. So if we look at the first one there, we're, we're going to do, um, I'm going I'm to designate this as D, and I'm going to call that T. So if we do 2 divided by 108, 2 divided by 108, um, you know what, I'm going to, I got, I'm right over here. Uh, I'm just going to write like this, but um, you know, I, I'm thinking right now it would actually be easier if we just call that uh, 1 over, you know, 54. You know, so if the, if this number, if the top number, for instance, if the y value times, you know, 54 equals 405, then we're on to something. All right, so I'm going to do that for the second one here. So I got 1, 2... 3 and 4. And so I'm going to do, so we got 7.5 divided by 405. And uh, I get the same thing. All right, and so this is going to be 1 54th as well. Okay, because I, I really don't want to use. I really don't want to use this long repeating decimal for our constant proportionality when we write it out. So for that one, um, what we can say here is that the equation is going to be t, that's like our y value, right? t equals, and um, you're going to put your constant proportionality here, and you're going to put that next to distance d, all right? So our our constant proportionality is 1 54th D. There you go. Okay, for the, for the next one, um, again, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to do the fractions. I'm going to do 1 divided by 800, which is 1 1, one 800th. And then if we do 5 over 900, that is definitely not going to come out to 1 800th. That's going to come to 1 over 180, you know, and then so on and so forth. So this, this one was proportional. Okay, that was proportional because we had a constant of proportionality. This one is not proportional. Okay, moving on here. Let me make sure I, I didn't miss anything on that one. Yeah, and, and I should also state this, that since it's not proportional, there's no equation. At least, I mean, we could probably write an equation um, and, you know, using what we know about linear equations, but we're, again, you're not at that part yet. Uh, right, for number four, uh, for each table, uh, Answer, what is the constant proportionality? Okay, now I'm assuming that these are all uh, proportional. These are all proportional. So what we got here 
This one is, I'll just do 14 divided by 2, which is 7. <clears throat> so our constant of proportionality on this one is 7. And that checks off. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 63 divided by 9 is 7. And 7 thirds divided by 1 third is 7. All right, this next one I'm going to do 360 divided by 3, which is 120. And that's your constant proportionality for the second table. And for the next one, all right, I'm going to do 3 over 75. Now, 3 doesn't divide. Um, I mean, it does, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to change that to a decimal because decimals are, they get really long and, and get a little bit uh, cluttered with all the numbers that you have to put in there. But we can write that as 1 25th. You know, and, and do the other numbers have that? You know, 8 over 200? Does that turn into 1 25th? You bet it does. You know, does, does 61 over 1525 turn into 1 25th? Yep, all those do. All right, so that's our constant portionality. I mean, that, that's really not like a terribly long decimal either, but it just, I like that better. Okay, and then for this one, we're going to do um, 10 divided by 4, which comes out to 5 over 2, or 2 and a half, 2.5. So our constant proportionality is 5 halves, or if you prefer decimal, 2.5. Okay? All right, for number 5, we've got Kieran and, and May are standing on one corner of a rectangular field grass and uh, they're looking at diagonal opposite corner. So I would say like they're, they're right here and they're just kind of looking looking at that corner right there. There's just two people here standing around. Okay. And they're looking at this diagonal that goes across. Alright, Kieran says that if the field were twice as long and twice as wide, then it would be twice the distance to the far corner. May says that it would be more than twice as far, uh, since the diagonal is even longer than the side lengths. Do you agree with either of them? All right. So what I did was I just, um, I just kind of just eyeballed this, but I've got two rectangles here, and um, what I did here is this rectangle. And it's not perfect, probably, but this rectangle is twice as you know, is twice as long and twice as tall as the original triangle. Okay, so you have something like that. All right, and do you agree with them? Well, I mean, here's all I have to do. I'm just going to use the power of technology here to kind of overlap these. So I'm going to put this part of the field there. And it gets buried. I'm going to send that to the back. And I'm going to copy and paste that. And holy cow. Look at that. That's a perfect fit right there. That was pretty good estimating on my part. I'm kind of proud of myself. But right here, that diagonal, yeah, that's, that's twice, right? That's one diagonal. That's another diagonal right there. And that's got to be twice. So that confirms. Um, that the diagonal is twice as long. <clears throat> um, so who's right? Um, that would be Kieran. Kieran is correct.